science fit plants plants parts of plants groups of plants depending on their stem their leaves or their flowers plants nutrition and plants reproduction parts of a plant plants have got a root a stem and leaves the root anchors the plant to the ground it allows the plant to get water and other substances the stem gives support to the leaves it also carries water from the root to the leaves the leaves are responsible for the plant's nourishment some plants have got flowers and fruit Parts of a flower. Flowers have got four parts. Sepals, tiny green leaves that protect a flower before it opens. Petals, colored part of a flower. Stamen and geneseum. They are in the center of the flower and they are responsible for the reproduction. Groups of plants depending on their stems, leaves, or flowers. Trees have a hard, thick, long trunk. Branches are far from the ground. Bushes have a hard trunk, but not as thick as trees. Branches are at ground level. Grass has a soft green stem, no trunk, and it's small. Some are less than one centimeter. Leaves. Leaves are the part of the plant that is responsible to make food. Some plants have leaves during all the year. They appear, grow, and fall continuously. Evergreen. Other plants lose their leaves when autumn comes. They are deciduous. Plants without flowers. Plants with no flowers need shadow and humidity. Mosses and brackens are some of the plants of this group. Mosses are small plants with small stems. Brackens are bigger than mosses. They have a big stem that grows underground and very big leaves. Plants with flowers. Gymnosperm and angiosperm plants form the group of plants with flowers. Gymnosperm. Gymnosperm plants have small flowers and they don't make fruits. Nearly all the gymnosperm plants are trees. For example, pines, cypresses, and firs are gymnosperm plants. Angiosperm. Angiosperm plants have flowers and they make fruit. For example, chestnut trees, bushes as thyme, grasses, and poppies. Plants nutrition. Plants nutrition. Water. Sunlight. Soil. Temperature. And air. Plants make their own food, photosynthesis. Plants, like animals and humans, need nourishment and need to breathe. The photosynthesis is the process in which the plants make their own food. The chlorophyll gives the green color to the leaves. During the photosynthesis, the plants take the carbon dioxide and oxygen from the atmosphere. If you want to know how a plant grows, it takes water, air, and sunlight and make cellulose. Every plant can do this fundamental process and we can call this photosynthesis.
Unlike me and you, plants need CO2 And they make oxygen that stops us turning blue Every plant can do this fundamental process And we can call this photosynthesis It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll Captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees a plant of any size can do it if it tries But we're not green so we can't photosynthesize Every plant can do this fundamental process And we can call this photosynthesis It's a miracle how all the chlorophyll Captures sunlight in the leaves of the plants and the trees Every plant can do this fundamental process And we can call this photosynthesis Every plant can do this fundamental process And we can call this photosynthesis Photosynthesis Nourishment process. Entry of water and substance from the soil, the raw sap, the process, and the refined sap. Types of plant reproduction. Sexual reproduction. The organ responsible for reproduction is the flower. Asexual reproduction. When a new plant grows from the stem or leaves of an existing plant. Riddle, riddle. It's got small white flowers in winter and fruits in summer. This tree is all around Mallorca. What is it? It's an almond tree. It's time to say bye-bye. See you in the next lesson.